If you live in a region with strong seasonalities, you've probably noticed a difference from summer to winter when opening your front door. Most notably, opening the door in the winter seems to have a stronger effect than in the summer. But why? You may have heard that energy likes to flow from high to low. So whenever you place an ice cube on a warm surface, the ice cube isn't cooling down the surface, rather the surface is warming up the ice cube. So when we think of opening the door in the winter, we'd think that the heat from the inside would flow into the cold of the outside. Yet it very noticeably is the opposite. The cold from the outside flows into the warmth of the inside. This is because when we open the door, we aren't transferring heat. We are actually transferring air masses. Air is actually a crazy good insulator, or rather gases are in general. That's why insulating material is really fluffy and light. It's the pockets of air within it that are doing the lion's share of the insulation. So when we open doors, what's actually happening is the air is flowing from high pressure to low pressure. Now, this can seem a bit counterintuitive. After all, if we have two same size volumes with the same amount of air, the warmer volume will have a higher pressure. This is internal pressure, which is the result of molecules wanting to keep their distance from one another. But in the atmosphere, we have a different kind of pressure called hydrostatic pressure, which is a product of gravity. The more gas molecules being pushed down from above, the greater the hydrostatic pressure. So cold air is denser, which means there are more molecules in a given volume, which means there are more molecules being pulled down by gravity and thus pushing against those beneath them. More molecules pushing down means a higher hydrostatic pressure. So when we open the door during the winter, this colder, higher pressure air rushes into our homes as the warmer air rushes out above it. During the summer, the inverse happens. The cooler air in our homes flows outside, but this lasts only briefly as the pressure inside drops with the loss of air. At which point, slower convection currents will take over and gradually warm our homes that way. This is also why if you've ever left an air-conditioned store on a really hot day, you briefly think it's not as hot as you originally thought. For the cool air from the inside leaves with you, creating a brief buffer against the scorching temperatures outside.